to restore this tack hammer, I'm going to show you what it takes and what you can do in an hour to polish up this head and restore it. This was a fun little quick one that I did this morning um, really quickly and then I was off to a scout camp for the rest of the day. Um, I'm working on a few other projects that should be coming out soon and that uh, I think will be exciting. I'm working on a, a scout axe with uh, a friend and that'll be a cool one. It'll have a little more um, micarta kind of in it. So we'll see that. I also uh, got a hatchet yesterday that uh, I will be using to make a matching hatchet to the copper plated hammer that I have. So that'll be a cool one. Uh, I have a few things I want to do in addition to that with that video. So that'll be something you'll see this week along with the scout axe that I'm working on. Um, this video though, um, essentially I, I gave myself 60 minutes again to restore a hammer, a tack hammer. And really, that meant about 45 minutes of sanding. So th this really shows kind of the effort that it does take to bring something to a polish. And this, I, I probably could have spent more time on each layer of, of sandpaper, each different grit. And it would have been much more of a mirror polish. Um, if you want to see some great videos on how to bring something to a polish, go to um, Austin Kelly's OK Tool Company. Um, I'll provide a link in the description below. And he shows uh, a quick video of polishing up an axe and, and his process. A really quick video. I'm sure it's a few hours worth of sanding that he shows in it like in like 30 seconds, I think. Um, but... Uh, Really, to bring something up to a polish like this, it does take a lot of sanding and then uh, just increasing the grits. And you can take it to a buffer wheel. I didn't do that on this. I didn't have the time to, to fit it into that 60, um, 60 minute um, restoration, but um, something you could do quickly here. So um, actually, after I finished sanding it all up, I used this Plaza double boiled linseed oil which is chemical free it's a hundred percent boiled linseed oil uh, or linseed oil it's just been double boiled and because it doesn't contain any additional chemicals it is okay for you to use your hands so please don't put a comment in the description saying you're supposed to use um, gloves with boiled linseed oil yes if it's chemically dried boiled linseed oil you do but this this plaza boiled linseed oil I, I've been using it for about a week now and I really like it I've been applying it multiple times to the the axes that I did last weekend and this tool here and it really it hardens just as fast it might actually harden a little quicker um, it's hard to say maybe I need to like compare the two and tie them I don't know but um, it's it's working great. It's leaving my handles really well, and I highly recommend it. There'll be a link for that double boiled linseed oil. It's on sale currently on Amazon, um, a 50% off sale. So it's a, it's it's a good price right now. I don't know how long that'll last. Maybe that'll end up being the regular price. I don't know. Um, but 25 bucks for a quart, um, I think, is quite good. Um, so that, that was it with this hammer. Uh, it's a nice Stanley made in USA tack hammer. I feel like it cleaned up really well. It was mounted really well and I think it looks just awesome on the top there. Um, the handle feels good. It's a nice little hammer um, that now I guess I can do some upholstery or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's a cool hammer. and. Uh, the handle feels good too, uh, just buffing out the old stuff and making it new. So um, look for opportunities to give those old things new life, and we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao.